Hello, this is the first episode of WADF News with Sofia Zhliznova and Mikhail Shepkin. During the pandemic, we thought about something that could connect all WADF people from all over the world. And we came to the idea of this YouTube channel and WADF News. Now we have a great possibility to keep in touch with each other all time long. So let's see what's happening in the world of artistic dance now. In today's edition we have our friends from Greece. They organized the national championship, actually the first one after total lockdown. And we want you to see it with a special report about preparation for this competition with its organizer Dimitris Krainis. So, hello Dimitris, nice to see you! Hello guys, how are you? I'm very glad to see you again. I'm very happy because I'm, we are going to show our preparation for the Greek National Championship of the WADF. Hello, here we are in the headquarters of ASCE, the Greek Dance Sport Association, and we're getting ready for the first WADF competition after lockdown. In this competition, spectators are prohibited and the largest number of people who can be on the stadium at the same time are only 30 people. Also, we need to stop the competition every one hour and disinfect and clean the whole stadium. Although this competition is a huge challenge for all of us, we're working hard and we're full of joy and creativity because we're working for the one and only Asia and for the big family of WDF. During the lockdown, as you understand, the situation was difficult. We as professional dancers, we might have done our trainings at home or even come to our school, but our students were not able to do that. So our trainings and lessons were taking place online. We at the dance club have made our own application and through it we tried to be as close as possible to our students. My expectations for this competition are definitely to perform my choreography as best as I can and to make my teacher proud. Generally, I want to have the best possible form since we all know that we went through a difficult period and to show that I've come out stronger. As for your question about preparing for competition, I would say technique, choreography and lots of training hours. Zapika, let's go! Tell me how we kept in proper physical condition during the lockdown. We kept in perfect physical condition because of the online dance lessons that we were doing almost every day. Did you take online dance lessons yes. every day? You are an advanced student and I want to tell me, because the competition is in 5-6 days next week, tell me if you are ready to dance on the competition. No one is ever ready. The effort is enough and that counts. So we set a goal to dance in the competition and have fun and a great time. And if a place or middle comes, we are just perfect. So one last question. The competitions have many categories. You have chosen from what I heard to dance in the one dance category. Which one dance category have you chosen? So, three dances, right? One dance rumba, one dance bachata and one dance cha-cha. Very nice, we wish you the best of luck. Though we are full of joy and positive energy and we think that we are going to be back with great photos and videos of our athletes. Thank you, Dimitrios. Thank you, Greece. And as we do on Eurovision, we want to tell 12 points Go to Greece! Last month my Facebook was full of amazing pictures from new studio of Michal Milevsky. Oh, can you show me? Actually, no, uh, but I have another great news for you. Our friends from Poland will show their studio themselves. Oh, that's great! Yeah! Hello to everyone 
from Poland and from our new studio. We are in our new studio, which we opened on the 5th June in this year. So it was uh, about 40 days ago. this long break we were very surprised to get back to our dance classes in the new studio. The old studio was in very old building and uh, very far from the uh, center of our city. Now we have very nice uh, localization in, uh, in our city. So uh, our WLBA family, I hope that soon we will be able to meet, to meet at the dance tournament in the world. See you soon! I liked it. Thank you, Michal, but I know we have more surprises from Poland. Agata Kozil opened summer camp. It seems like dancing life is flourishing in Poland. Hello, WADF people. Welcome in Poland. This year our camp is a bit smaller than usually, but we have uh, 43 people, dancers, and so we want to show how we work. to be here because finally after months of quarantine we're now able to step on the dance floor with our friends and coaches. It's our first day here and we're already very tired but also super excited to be here. We, we hope to see you soon! Bye! Bye. competition maybe in Poland in October. See you soon guys! I know that a lot of teachers and coaches are tired from online lessons. But some of them found extraordinary solutions. What do you mean? I'll show you. Olga Nikitina couldn't wait for reopening of studios and build her own open-air dance floor. Welcome! Welcome to the dacha! This is a dancing dacha and I'm gonna tell you right now about Nikar Dancing Camp. The story is very old, honestly more than 10 years old, because of the pandemic and this whole situation. Everything was very convenient. The parquet was reanimated and we have walked and we are walking as much as possible. We have even took part in an online tournament that had place. You know, it's a completely different atmosphere here. Fresh air, trainings, I can never say, are more effective. Whenever you stop, you feel a little bit cold. Well, and mosquitoes fly everywhere.
This is it for now. Especially for you, Mikhail Shepkin. Sofia Zhilisnova. Thank you. See you soon. In WADF Academy, you can find a workshop with the greatest Nils Hakan Carson, our beloved president. In WADF fashion, we'll show you a special report with image agency Chursina Style. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your thumbs up and see you soon.